So anyway, this is the road the chick at the ranger station suggested we drive out. All right, so after, I don't know, an hour on this dirt road behind me, maybe more, we finally hooked up with the lady who owns that Chevrolet back there, and she showed us the trailhead, which is this gate, unmarked. How you're supposed to know that? I don't know. So we decided to stop. I don't know. We're about, we went pretty far, maybe eighth of a mile in. <laughs> Some lunch. <laughs> I think we six hours in the car made us hungry. What can I tell you? Okay, so at two and a half miles, 2.47 miles as far as my GPS says, you actually come off that hill and you come right back down to the water uh, that we're gonna cross right now. Wish me luck. Inside a redwood tree. That's what that looks like. All right, so we came out of that creek down the valley and instantly just went up a bunch of switchbacks. I don't know. I don't know, we're about four and a quarter miles in. Um, this is our trail. We're at 6.23 miles. The campsite's about 500 feet ahead. I just crossed some stupid log back there and pulled a hamstring. So I guess it's good we're done. But anyway, check this out, it's beautiful. Around the corner here, we can't see it yet, is Pico Blanco. All right, so we found our campsite right here. Check that out. Day one, after uh getting to the ranger station and finding out the Pine Ridge Trail was closed. We were not able to go to Sykes, Skykes, Hot Springs. <clears throat> so she, the nice lady at the ranger station redirected us to the coast, Old Coast Road. Old Coast Road, Old Coast Road which led us uh, to the Little Sur Trail and out to Pico Blanco Campground. Here we are, Pico Blanco. And what she failed to mention were two things, this nice lady. She failed to mention A, the coast road was 10-ish miles of dirt road. Mm -hmm. So there was that. And very rutted, potholed dirt road. Um, and she also failed to mention that the trailhead is unrecognizable and that there is in fact no signage. So she was really no help at all. But here we are, about a seven, six and a half mile hike. Six and a mile, half, six and a mile, six and a mile, six and a half mile. Might have to edit that part out. We'll see if that part makes it. <laughs> we got about a six and a half mile hike. Uh, and we got some be dinner. As precise as possible, that is. You gotta be on point with these monologues. Not with Andrew, if you can't hear him, he's, he's, he's basically saying, I, I'm not doing this right. And. <laughs> Uh, we got a nice, beautiful fire going. Nine o'clock, who knows. In the morning, um, walked around, met some of the other campers over that direction. Uh, Justin and his girlfriend's wife, Dante, who knows. And then they're leaving camp. So we're gonna move our camp, because that's where we can camp down. It's a nice little camp, a great little fire. Called it the Arrowhead Fire. Uh, but that is a much nicer campsite. We'll see that in just a bit. All right, so we've been in the new campsite for a little bit. We're all set up behind me here, and we are going to go for a hike. Um, it's already about noon, a little afternoon actually. Late start. Um, it's okay, we've just been hanging out. But we are going to try and hike up to Pico Blanco. 
Supposedly there's a fire road somewhere up there. I'm gonna see if we can find it, get up to the top. All right, so we climbed out of camp. Um, not too steep, but you, you're going up. And at about 20 minutes in, 15, 20 minutes in, we started climbing. And we found kind of a rock cairn uh, right off the trail and started following that and then found another one. We're kind of just on the middle of the ridge right now. Kind of off trail, on trail, if you will. There's a fence post right in front of me, so that's kind of a good sign. And I think we're headed up to a road. Uh, and we'll see that hopefully in it. Hello, literally one minute later, maybe a minute and a half, we uh, came out on this fire road. Not even half hour down this trail, down the fire road, we found an intersection. Um, it's pretty amazingly beautiful. All right, real quick, only about 20 seconds later after that intersection, but just come on this really amazing view of uh, our goal kind of looks daunting from here. So we just keep climbing. It's kind of wrapping around now. Uh, and it just keeps getting pretty and pretty. Up and up we go. So stopped here, I'm going to be behind me for lunch, well, snack, we have lunch today. We're about three and a half miles in, a um, little over an hour and a half, I have to stop a couple times to make sure we're going the right way and taking photos and stuff. Alright, real quick, we uh, hiked up, we're almost at the peak, it's literally right behind me, there it is. The a hundred feet up, maybe, I don't know, a quarter mile on the road. But right there, cell tower. So we texted our peeps, let them know we're alive. Um, I think it's pretty funny to be in the middle of, quote unquote, the wilderness. And you can pop up on a cell tower and start texting all your friends. Yeah, it's beautiful up here, by the way. Right at that cell tower is the end of the road. Um, just kind of stops. So we are going to just bushwhack it. Looks fairly doable. Right to the top up there. Um, all right, so here we are at the top. Pico Blanco, baby. Uh, what I just looked at, two and a half hours-ish. A snack stop, photos, um, and five miles. About five miles up here. Last two, three hundred yards, maybe we're scrambling straight up the side. But the views are well worth it. I'll show you that right now. End of day two, hanging out near the campfire. Um, what did we do today? We uh, got a little late start, which was nice. Switched campsites, you saw that. Didn't get out of here until about 11 o'clock, a little after 11, I guess. Um, hiked up to Pico Blanco, you saw that. Came back to camp, built a nice fire, hanging out. There's Andrew, you can see him good now. Um, and that was it. Had some food. Andrew's like a, he's like a garbage disposal. He'll eat anything I don't. It's awesome. I'll never have to carry extra weight with him around. This is freaking perfect. Anyway, a little side note there. Uh... Good morning. Uh, what do we got? Sunday morning, the 11th. Um, breaking down camp a little bit. Okay, so. We left camp. Uh, we're coming up a little single track. We're actually going to take the same way 
the route we took up to Pico Blanco, we're gonna get to the fire road and take that fire road out of here back to the car. All right, so we're about done. We got about a half a mile left. We're back level with the river. A um, little push out of the river and up to the car and then we're done. Three days, two nights, Pico Blanco rustic campground and then up to Pico Blanco uh, mountain. Beautiful up there. Great views, 360 views on top. Um, about 3,700 feet, I think the top of it so nothing crazy um, just beautiful hike through the redwoods right now getting back to the car I really enjoyed it out here Los Padres National Forest or Bentano Wilderness it's a much larger area um, we're on the Little, Little Sur Trail uh, and I will show you the trailhead one more time because it's off the long, old coast road but it's um, it's really easy to miss. It's just a gate in the middle of the road. So I'll show you that one more time as we roll the credits. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you uh, get out here and check this out. It's just beautiful. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Okay, so that's the trailhead right behind me. You come out here. That's what you're looking for. Mile marker 0.47. I think it's a 0 0.47. That's the trailhead.